Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you the reason for every goal failure I've ever had. So it's February, sorry, <laughs> it's March. It's March now. Um, so whatever time you're watching this video, um, the reason I bring that up is New Year's Eve resolutions are now a distant memory for almost everybody, right? Because they don't work. They don't work. We know that they don't work. But the theme of this video, the idea behind it is very simple. It's not to go into every single failure I've ever experienced. And uh, by failure, I mean, really what I mean by that is a broken promise. That's my definition of failure. Because a broken promise, a promise we make to ourselves is something that's very important. As I've spoken about in other videos, really what happens when we um, break promises to ourselves is that trust goes away, the trust you have with yourself. So I take that very seriously. I've come to take it very seriously. There was a time in my past when I was a lot younger when I didn't even see it as an issue. Well, it was an issue and uh, I discovered that. But the reason for every goal failure I've ever had has been taking on too much, taking on too much. The goals I make are too big and they're too long range, okay? So what I'm talking about here is I'm inviting you, I want you to get some value immediately from watching this video, right? So what I would say is, it's very simple, okay? You identify the areas in your life that you would like to see progress in, okay? Not in five years time, we're talking about maybe five days, okay, five days, we'll say. And you basically, you identify those areas, so there could be one area in your life, it could be two, three, four maybe, don't go over that, okay, because then it gets too micromanagerial, okay? You wanna keep it down to maybe four things that you would like to see, consistent growth in um, over the next few days, right? And so what you do is you say, okay, well, what do I need to do each day for those areas? Yeah. Now, your first impulse, here's a trick. Your first impulse for setting out tasks in these areas is usually wrong, okay? And by wrong, I mean too big, too big. What we generally do is we take on too much for each one. So what I'm saying here is, okay, you want to experience uh, positive feedback, incremental baby step progress every day that you're doing this. So what you say to yourself is you take that initial allotment of time or task, whatever you had laid out for yourself originally in maybe one of your areas, and take away from it, so say, if you, for instance, if it's uh, fitness or something like that, right? And you're saying over the next five days, I will work out for 45 minutes, right? As an example. Now, if you have been failing to do that for the last while and it's been making you feel bad, okay? That's an indication that that's way too much, way too much. So you start scaling it back until you get to the point where you're saying, well, that's ridiculously easy, ridiculously easy, okay? So it could be, Something like, I work out for 10 minutes, okay? What we're looking for here, now you might say, 10 minutes, what's the point? The point is you're gonna become consistent with it and you're actually going to achieve something, okay? And you keep a promise to yourself which will make you feel better, okay? Because it's the breaking promises to yourself that hurts yourself. So, and you do that with all your areas, whatever they are, so that when you look at it and you're, you're daily tasks for that day, you say, well, you know what, if I can't do that, um, there's something else at play, okay? Usually, to be honest, what that is, is, an emo is emotional. There's an emotional issue that's going on, okay? And that's something else. But give yourself the very best possible chance of addressing those areas in a very, very easy way. Because as I've said before, the one emotion that has people really hinders our progress. The one emotion is feeling overwhelmed, okay? If people feel overwhelmed, they should up shop, okay? They stop investing, they stop trying, right? 
So give that a go, but don't do it for two weeks or a month, my monthly goals. Do it for a few days, because what you're gonna do is just try this as like an experiment in self-trust, okay? And that's the real, that's the real prize of all this. It's not that you're going to actually achieve these things, which is a nice, happy byproduct, but it's more of a, an investigation into how honest am I with myself, okay? Can I trust myself? So that's what you'll learn. And after five days, you'll say, okay, what did I learn about myself this last period, okay? How trustworthy am I? And it's, if you fail, it's not a matter of, oh my God, how bad am I? I can't trust myself. It's basically you go smaller again, smaller again, right? Until you find, you know what, I can trust myself. I can trust myself with these baby steps. And that's kind of like, you know, it's self-compassion, it's self-love. It's cheesy, you probably hear it all the time, but on a practical level, that's what it looks like, okay? Being honest with yourself and doing things that you know are in your own best interests, okay? So guys, give that a go and I hope it helps and I will talk to you very soon. Take care.